Dozens dead and still many missing. The strongest typhoon to hit the Philippines this year has taken its toll. The number of confirmed deaths has increased as many casualties were announced on the island of Bohol. This could be set to increase over the coming days with many communications still cut. The typhoon swept through the south and the center of the country with winds of up to 195 kilometers per hour. President Rodrigo Duterte visited one of the worst affected regions, Surigao, on Sunday. The problem is our people. Because, as I intimated to them last night in our meeting, I didn't say we don't have money, that we don't have enough funds to help the people. We do have money. But the budget is a bit tight because we've poured all our resources into fighting COVID. More than 300,000 people were forced to flee their homes, like here on the island of Mindanao. <laughs> No kuana ang lupa naghinahinay. Unya tanaw na ko murag no aksyon magkusog maotong ni bakwit media sa pag-ibig. The Philippines is hit by an average of 20 storms and typhoons every year, but locals were left unprepared for the sustained power of Typhoon Rai. The ferocity of the storm has been linked to global warming, with the Philippines being ranked among the globe's most vulnerable nations to the impacts of climate change. Rescue operations are underway as thousands of military, police, coast guard and fire personnel are being deployed to assist in search and rescue efforts in the worst affected areas in the region. Early estimates place repair costs at more than 350 million euro.